You know those days where you don't even want to try? Like you don't even care what you look like? That is how I am feeling today. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my boxy shoe boxing. And I, listen, I feel like this has been a constant thing. I'm always telling you guys about my situation, situations. But last night, I woke up like four times in the middle of the night with horrible stomach aches. And you know what, it is my fault. It is my fault because I had spaghetti last night and I know, I know, I came to the conclusion not that long ago that spaghetti sauce messes up my stomach, but I love spaghetti. And I was like, well, I'm just gonna add a little bit of sauce. It's not gonna do anything, but no. It was a really rough night for me. I barely slept. My stomach felt like there were bombs going off. Like you just heard blah, blah. It was, it was pretty intense. But I'm feeling much better this morning and I thought, okay, I need to film a laid back casual video because I'm not feeling the best as usual. And I thought, my butt's sure I'm unboxing. <laughs> Please ignore my appearance. All I did was pick my hair up in a bun and put on earrings because I even went to sleep in this shirt, so. <laughs> Good morning. All right, so let's open it. I don't know if you guys are new here to my unboxing videos, but I like to take a little peek myself before I sit down to film these videos just so I know what to put on my face, what not to put on. And today there is a skincare product in the box, which is why I have no foundation on, no makeup on, except my brows, because pff, I have to have those on. <laughs> Always. But this is what the box looks like this month, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm so excited for this month's box. So many good stuff here. But you get a little, what's this? Oh, it's like a little boxy charm, like, oh, pamphlet type of thing. Is this the card? Wow, look at it. It's usually like a card, but this is like a like a full-blown story here. You get the prices and everything right here, so I'm gonna hold on to that. You also get a coupon code, by the way. But I'm gonna help you out here. If you use the code APRILBOXY, you get 10% off on Tarte.com. All right, so the first thing we're gonna try out is this guy. And I had never seen this before, I had never heard of it, but when I was reading it this morning, I was like, hmm, this looks real interesting. This is the Dr. Brandt Pores No More Vacuum Cleaner. This is a pore purifying mask. We've gotten Dr. Brandt in the box before. I think we got the Pores No More Exfoliator, and we've also gotten the Pores No More Luminizer Primer, which I really like. So I'm very excited to try this. I like their Pores No More line. I'm hoping I like this. It says it's for oily to combination skin, so I don't know if it's for me, but we're gonna to try it out anyway it says after cleansing apply a thin layer to areas of concern okay so I'm not gonna apply this on my entire face I'm just gonna apply it in areas like right here right here maybe like on my forehead here a little bit on my sheen right I guess avoid eyes leave on for five to ten minutes until dry a cooling sensation will occur. Rinse with warm water and pat dry. It says to use two to three times a week for maximum results, but it's supposed to unclog and tighten the look of pores and reduce excess oil from the skin surface. <laughs> my surface ain't got no oil, what? All right, so my face is already clean. I washed it before I picked up my hair in a bun. My hair is so puffy right now that I literally, look at this. My mom is gonna be like, how can you look so crazy in that video when there's thousands of people watching you? And I'm like, <laughs> I am who I am. <laughs> okay, so I am a bit concerned since my skin is so dry. I'm just gonna apply this in these areas. Oh my gosh, wait. This has like little blue beads. This squeezes out clear, but then there's little blue beads inside this product and then they kind of pop as you apply it to your skin. Can you see right there? Okay, so I'm assuming you just like mix it all together until it's like a blue color. <laughs> Okay, so because I have a pretty dry forehead right here, I really don't wanna focus that there. So that's all I'm gonna do, and I'm gonna leave this on for five to 10 minutes. And I already feel a cooling sensation, like this does feel really cold on the skin, especially when you do dates. But I'm just gonna let it dry, and then I'll rinse it off and let you know if I see a difference or not. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. I'm about to rinse this off. But I actually want to zoom you in and show you my nose. I don't know if you can tell, it kind of has like little spots everywhere. And I feel like that's the mask targeting my pores. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's how I feel. It does feel super dry on my skin, like my skin does feel really tight. So I'm curious to see how my skin feels once I rinse this off. But I'm gonna go do that now and I will let you know. Okay, I'm back. So right off the bat, I just want to say I definitely feel this cooling sensation now. I don't know if that is what it's, that's what's supposed to happen. But my face feels almost like cold. 
and I kind of like it. It does feel a little bit tight here on my cheeks, but that is obviously because I have such dry skin and this is targeted more for oily skin. But I also think my pores look a little bit smoother and a little bit cleaner, like they've been cleaned out a bit. I'm not 100% sure because I didn't really look at my pores before putting on the mask. I definitely should have done that. But my skin overall looks brighter in that area, like a little declogged, but maybe that's just my mind. So far, so good. I'm going to continue to use this, but I'm only going to use this in those areas where I applied it because my skin does feel a little tight and I don't want to over dry my skin. When it comes to face masks, I have to use them more than once to see how I really feel about it, but so far, so good. Also, this is a full size product and this retails for $4 to $7. That's a spancy. Okay, so really quickly, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, all that good stuff, and then I will be back to finish unboxing. Oh, right. Anyway, the next thing in the box is this guy. So this is from a brand called The Brow Gal, and this is the Instatint Tinted Eyebrow Gel. It says, tinted eyebrow gel with microfibers to achieve a natural hair look. Perfect for the customer who wants a quick but natural feel to their brows. Um, yes please. I love brow gels that have little fibers in them. I used to really love that Milani one. Oh, okay, but wait, what shade is this? This one is for Light Hair 03. That's the problem I feel with these kinds of products. Like, how does BoxyCharm know if the products they're sending out, like, fits their customers? Because a bunch of people get the same box. I mean, boxes vary, but a bunch of people get the same box. I mean, I don't know. I feel like this might be too light for my brows, actually. But we're gonna try it out anyway. So maybe I should zoom you in a little more. Okay, so I already have brow gel in my brows because I did my brows first, and then I realized after that I had this in the box, but... Pretend I don't have brow gel. Yeah, I, I definitely think that this is too light for my brows. This would have been perfect for me a few months ago when my hair was like that light auburn kind of color. But I definitely see those little fibers sticking to my brows. I just do not like that color. But I do feel like I would really like this formula though. Like the little fibers that are sticking to it. like. I feel like it's making my brows look fuller. So I'm actually gonna look into this brand and maybe try out a deeper shade because I do not like this color. I mean, the color doesn't look bad, like it looks perfectly fine with my hair actually, now that I've zoomed out. I feel like I would like a shade a little bit deeper than this, but I feel like I would like this formula. So, so far so good with this one. I'm gonna look into that brand actually. So now, the most exciting thing in this entire box Look at this, how exciting is this? ColourPop is now in a BoxyCharm box. Like, I mean, ColourPop has been in BoxyCharm boxes before with liquid lipsticks, but they have an eyeshadow palette in the box. Am I the only one that's super stoked about this? I'm pretty sure that you get like five different palettes in the box, you like five different options, but my box has the element of surprise. And it's actually funny that this is the one in my box because this is probably the one I use the least. Actually, I think I gave mine to my cousin. I don't even think I have my element of surprise anymore. Listen, it's a thing, whenever somebody comes into my beauty room and they pick something up and they're like, oh my gosh, I love this, I just give it to them. It's become a habit at this point, like anytime somebody likes something, I just, I have so much that I don't mind people taking stuff. And I'm pretty sure my cousin really liked this. And I gave it to her, but look at this, look how life works. It's back in my hands. I feel like that happens a lot in life. Always give, it's always good to give because you never know. This is the Element of Surprise palette. And I think for me, what really didn't draw me to this palette was the packaging. Out of all of ColourPop's eyeshadow palettes, this is the packaging that's my least favorite. I don't know, it's just something about the pattern that never like called my attention, but the eyeshadows inside this palette are actually really, really great. The color combination is really cool. This is one of their most unique palettes. I'm going to do a little look with this. I actually wanna use this color all over my lid because immediately I'm just drawn to that shade and I've never used it before, so I'm, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so you know the drill. I don't like these videos to be too long, so I'm just gonna point and apply and speed through this part. I just want to say this color is so deceiving because you can see like in the light it looks like silvery purpley but then 
it's peach, which I'm not hating it. I actually really freaking love the color, but it just looks peach on the eyes. And I'm kind of surprised because I mean, I had never used that eyeshadow before, but like in the light, it kind of looks different. I don't know. I think this is a super cool eyeshadow. A little bit surprised at the color, but I think it's nice. Let's continue. Okay, so that is pretty much it. I'm now realizing that I did a very similar look in like a recent BoxyCharm video, like um, with that pure palette. Uh, maybe I should have done something more chocolatey and smoky, but I feel like I do that all the time. I really like how this look turned out. It's very pink and warm, and I love colors like that. And I love ColourPop eyeshadows. And these are $16, so it's really amazing that we are getting this in the box. But let's go ahead and see what else is inside this box. Okay, so the next thing is this, and I'm really excited that there's a Tarte product in the box because I always get really excited when when it's high-end or when it's a brand that I'm really familiar with but I don't think I like these <laughs> this is the Tardis Pro Glow liquid highlighter and this is in the shade stunner I actually don't have this shade but I remember trying out like a golden color and I did not like it this is a liquid highlighter you're supposed to just apply it on top of your face I actually don't well I actually do <laughs> I was gonna say I don't have any powders on my face but bronzer is technically powder and I did set my under eye concealer but even though I don't like these I am gonna apply it on camera for you guys just so you can see maybe I end up liking this color I don't know to me it's mainly the formula the one I tried just looked a little bit too glittery on my skin like it looked chunky and very very unnatural but we shall see this is like the beauty blender blusher it's just their tiny little beauty blender I'm gonna go wet this because I'm gonna apply that highlighter with a sponge so I'm gonna take a little bit of this stunner color on the back of my hand these are very thick and moussey which is why I think don't really work for me personally I like something a little bit more liquidy but the color is so so gorgeous I'm gonna try using it with a sponge on one side and then a brush on the other side which me look oh I'm like breaking out right here I have so many bumps I already have highlight on which I didn't realize when I was applying my foundation. I was like, oh, I don't have a highlighter to test out. Let me put on highlight. But I absolutely did have a highlighter to test out. Actually, that looks really nice. <laughs> I do have a lot of texture right now, so I feel like it's emphasizing on my little pimples. But I feel like I might like it if those little suckers weren't there. The only thing is this can tend to look very glittery like if you saw my skin in person there are little shimmers throughout this product which a lot of people don't mind some people really like that intense blinding shimmery highlight but that's just not me this might even be cool mixed in with your foundation but I will say it looks pretty cool and I do like it more than that golden color I tried but I'm gonna try applying it with my finger on the other side yeah I prefer a sponge so this is a very blinding highlight. It is really, really intense, but like I said, it's definitely not for me. I don't like this texture, but it might be a really cool eyeshadow though. Does it say it's just for the face? No, it just says liquid highlighter. I'm gonna apply a little bit to the center of my lid and I might regret that tremendously, but I might not. You never know until you try, right? The thing is that these dry so fast. So I feel like by the time you start applying it, they just dry, which is probably a good thing for eyeshadow though. I might have applied a little bit too much right there in the crease. So it kind of looks a little funky, but I actually think it looks cool on the lids. The only thing is that it's just hard to blend. It dries, no. Nope. No, I don't like that. Okay, wait, I'm getting I'm getting a better blend. And you know what? I like it. I do like the little effect that that added to my eyes. The only thing, like I said, it is very hard to blend. It does dry really quickly, and then when you try to blend it out, it does look a little bit splotchy, so you have to work really fast. Not my favorite product in the box, personally. This is a full-size product, and this retails for $29. I don't, I don't think it's worth $29. Okay, so the last product is a liquid lipstick, and I actually don't know what color this is, so I don't even know if this matches my eye makeup. I mean, there's a little picture right here, and I don't know if that's the color we have. This is from a brand called Adis, Ades, Ades. Wow, I'm sorry. But it's the High Definition Liquid Lipstick. It's a full-size product, and it retails for $24. So let's see. 
Oh, perfect. So pretty. Oh, I like that. Mmm. Wow, this smells amazing. You know what? This smells like the NYX soft matte, those soft matte lip creams. This smells kind of like it, but more chocolatey almost. I feel like if I had my own liquid lipstick, they would smell like this. I love it. I don't know if this dries down matte because it looks pretty creamy and glossy in the packaging. Creamy long wearing liquid lipstick provides the dazzling full coverage of a lipstick with the ease of one applicator. Okay. Made with advanced polymers and intense pigments for long lasting, brilliant color and intense shine in a single sweep. Okay, so this isn't a matte liquid lipstick. It's just a liquefied lipstick. So let's try it on. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Definitely should have used a lip liner underneath this, but wow. This feels so tacky, but not in a bad way. In like a super full coverage, pigmented kind of way. I feel like if I applied a lip liner underneath my entire lips and then put this on top, based on the texture, I feel like this would last forever. It feels like a long wearing lip color. Do you know what I mean? Do you ever have those moments like when you know, oh, this is gonna stay on all day? And this color is gorgeous. I totally see this color working for so many different skin tones. Okay guys, so that completes this video after doing some calculations. The overall value of the box is over $135, which is insane because you pay 21. I really like this lip. This was pretty good. I'm, I'm still gonna test it out, but this is pretty good. This, amazing. I didn't like the color of this, but the formula seems good. And the only thing I didn't like is the Tarte product, but I love the brands that they included and the box just was really good this month. So yeah, I would love to know what you got in your box this month. Did you get the same palette as me? What did you get? I would love to know. Did the tinted fiber brow thing work for you? Like, did you get a color that was good for you? Leave it in the comments below. But that completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, since I am a big, I am whatever you say I am. If I'm what would I say I am? Something like that. You know what? This smells like the NYX soft matte. Damn, I keep putting it on my nose.